Hello everyone, in this video the demodulation of the amplitude modulated signal is explained. So, in the previous video we have seen how to perform the amplitude modulation. So, at the receiver the received modulated signal carrier signal which is carrying the information is modulated. So, the amplitude modulated signal is to be demodulated at the receiver side to recover the original signal to extract the information. Actually, the modulated signal we expressed as S of t is equal to 1 plus k into m of t into the carrier signal AC into cos omega ct. So, k is the sensitivity constant. So, we will see about the impact of modulation index on amplitude modulated wave in, a, in the next video. So, here now the amplitude modulated wave is S of t that is transmitted over the channel and received at the receiver. So, in synchronized uh, receiver of amplitude modulation the received signal S of t is actually uh, multiplied there is a product modulator we use uh, that is multiplied with locally generated uh, signal and the properties of the signal is actually uh, similar to the carrier signal. The received signal S of t is actually multiplied with the locally generated uh, uh, signal and passed to the low pass filter then we will receive the res recovered uh, message signal. So, we can do it in both uh, time domain and uh, or the frequency domain. So, in this uh, I am going to explain how to do it in frequency domain. So, what we are going to do? We are going to take the fast Fourier transform of the received signal and passing to the low pass filter. See, we have uh, the impulse response here and that is multiplied with the frequency spectrum. And after processing by the low pass filter again we will perform the inverse fast Fourier transform to convert the signal into time domain. So, the time domain signal is actually converted into frequency domain then by using inverse fast Fourier transform we will be having recovered time domain signal. So, let us see how to perform this. So, this is the waveform uh, shown here actually the first figure is of uh, the amplitude modulated wave with the noise and uh, it is multiplied with uh, the locally generated carrier signal and this the second picture is the frequency spectrum uh, the fast Fourier transform of the demodulated signal and the figure 3 is the impulse response and it is multiplied figure 2 and 3 are multiplied then we get the figure 4. So, the figure 4 is in the frequency domain and by taking the inverse fast Fourier transform of figure 4 we will get the time domain that is recovered uh, message signal at the end. So, let us see how to write this coding. So, this amplitude modulation program we have seen in the previous video. So, that this is the expression of uh, the command of the amplitude modulator wave. So, let us see how to demodulate it. The received signal so, let me name it as the demodulation of the received signal. The received amplitude modulated signal is multiplied with the carrier signal locally generated signal and the next comment we write here is m is equal to absolute value of f of t fast Fourier transform of d mod. So, this f of t is actually converting this time domain signal into frequency domain. So, in frequency domain we will be having both magnitude and uh, phase. So, we do not consider about phase here in order to have the magnitude we actually have this abs absolute value of the free converted frequency domain signal. Uh, let us have the low pass filter as the impulse response created as so the filter can be made as once of 1 comma have some values 4 into f m comma 0 rest all other values to be 0 1 comma p minus 4 into f m. So, this p is nothing but uh, actually uh, the length of uh, time we defined and uh, uh, once of 1 comma 4 into fm. So, once of the it is kind of matrix for example, 
let me clear it out so ones of 1 comma 3 is creating the first one is the row value and next one is the column value so uh, one row three column of ones are generated sorry yeah in case if uh, if i want to change it to three rows and one column three comma one of matrix the defined all ones in three rows and single column so if we put zeros then we will be having for example 1 comma 4 so one row four column of zeros like this we actually define the filter uh, the impulse response here then this value uh, the frequency uh, domain of uh, the received signal is going to be uh, processed with the low pass filter so recovered signal is equal to lp into m the magnitude of the frequency uh, domain signal so this operator we have seen in the uh, previous video so that is the element wise multiplication operator so finally received signal uh, received signal can be is actually uh, i inverse fast fourier transform of the recovered signal so in this program we already have made uh, three plots uh, for amplitude modulation so let us have the amplitude modulation plots in a first fi single figure that is figu or e figure 1 and uh, demodulated wave we can put into second uh, figure figure 2 so in figure 2 separate uh, plots separate in a separate window we are going to have all the plots of demodulated wave so here subplot so subplot let us have five plots in a window the first column uh, first figure so plot of t comma so first uh, let us have demodulate demod the received signal multiplied with the carrier and uh, let me copy all the commands again control v so in the next uh, so in the second picture we are going to see the frequency domain of uh, the received signal and in the third picture the filter the low pass filter the impulse response we defined and in the fourth picture we are going to have the plot of recovered signal the single spectrum right and finally we are going to check the received message signal that is t comma c i v d okay these are the five plots we are going to have in a separate uh, figure separate window so again save and execute so go to command window and the message signal let us give and the carrier amplitude is 4 so this is the message signal and the carrier signal then amplitude modulated wave and in another window we are having the received amplitude modulated wave with the noise that is actually multiplied with the locally generated uh, carrier signal and its uh, frequency spectrum in frequency domain then it is my picture 2 and 3 are multiplied the 3 are uh, the impulse response the filter processed with the filter then the picture 4 shows uh, the frequency uh, domain of uh, the filtered signal then the last picture is of uh, inverse fast Fourier transform of the fourth one that is the time, time domain signal of the received final signal so this is how uh, we demodulate the amplitude modulated wave at the receiver side.
in case of a synchronized or amplitude modulated receiver. So I hope uh, this video is helpful to understand how to perform amplitude modulation and amplitude demodulation on Scilab platform and in the next video uh, we will see uh, the impact of a modulation index on amplitude modulation. Thank you. Thank you.